forgot to ask them about that song. It's Psalm Here. All right, well, good morning to all you people who are here on time. Woohoo! Um, this morning, we're going to do something a little bit different, and we'll talk a little bit more about it when more people are in here, but we're having a Thanksgiving and worship time this morning. So we're just going to spend some extended time in worship, and um, so let's just start with prayer, and, um, and we'll get started. Lord, we just welcome your presence here, and we invite you to do whatever you want to do here this morning. We thank you that you are Lord, and you are God, Lord, and you, all things hold together, Lord. We thank you that um, you are Lord here and you are King. And Lord, you're worthy of every bit of praise that we give you this morning and then more. Lord, we can't, we can't even begin to worship you enough for how much you're worthy. Lord, we love you and, and we ask that this morning our worship and our, our praise would be sweet to your ears. We thank you for all that you are and for all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
be seated for a minute. No? Yes. Yay. <laughs> um, okay, so as we said, today's going to be a little bit different. We're going to have a few announcements and then have our offering and then have some more worship music. Um, the Christmas shebang is coming up. Well, first of all, welcome this morning. We have a slim crowd, but sometimes those services can be amazing. So I hope that that will be what happens today. Um, if this is your church home, we're so gra- grateful that you're here. And if you're visiting today, we're glad that you're here as well. Um, the Christmas shebang is coming up on Sunday, December 14th at 6 p.m. And we have lots of people signed up, but we still have openings in every area, food, um, talent, organizing, all of those things. Um, if you have already signed up to do anything to do with the shebang, we're going to have a quick meeting over here right after service today. Um, it'll be very short, so please come to that. The Men of Valor are going to be getting together Thursday, December 4th for a pizza party. Anybody? Yeah, there you go. There you are. (laughs) Norm's really (laughs) excited about the pizza. (laughs) And then Ignite is going to be having a Christmas dress-up dinner on, yeah, (laughs) on December 5th. So, (laughs) you're not part of that ministry, Norm. (laughs) Okay, so that will be great. Um, and right now, I guess we're going to have our giving, or we're going to continue with worship. So if we could get ready to get the baskets ready. Okay, let's pray for our offering. Father, we thank you for today. God, we thank you that you're here. God, we pray for um, protection and blessings for the people that are not here. And God, we want to continue to worship you with our giving, Father. God, will you please give us a heart that gives not out of compulsion or, or out of um, obligation, but God, just because we want to give back to what you have given us. Father, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. So as we're taking up the offering, um, this morning we, um, we thought since it's a fifth Sunday and it's been Thanksgiving week and we've been focused on um, giving thanks this week, we just wanted to take some time together as a body to just um, thank the Lord for what he's done for us. Um, and we can't even begin to thank him enough because um, he's just, he's so good and he's just so abundantly blessed. Um, but we're going to just worship together together. Um, as families, we're not having child care today because it's just going to be worship time and, and family worship time. So, you know, um, just feel free if, as the Lord leads you. If he leads you to, you know, go and pray for someone during the service, you know, feel free to get up and do that. We're going to be really free in that this morning. And um, we're just going to enjoy the Lord's presence together. Um, so if you would turn in your Bibles to Psalm 103, and I think we'll have it up on the screen as well. Um, If we could stand up together, we're going to read this together. There's something really, really powerful when um, the body reads the word together. It's just a beautiful thing. So we're going to start the next part of our worship with this psalm, Psalm 103. And we'll see if we get it up on the screen here. Technology. It's great, but it's not always fast. Well, let's go ahead and read it together. If we get it up there, that'd be great. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits, who pardons all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit who crowns you with loving kindness and compassion, who satisfies your years with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord performs righteous deeds and judgments for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his acts to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his loving kindness towards those who fear him. 
As far as the east is from the west, he has removed our transgressions from us. Just as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he himself knows our frame. He's mindful that we are but dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. When the wind has passed over it, it is no more, and its place acknowledges it no longer. But the loving kindness of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him. And his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and who remember his precepts to do them. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his sovereignty rules over all. Bless the Lord, you as angels, mighty in strength, who perform his word, obeying the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, you who serve him doing his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Amen.
for I am yours. I am yours. We are yours. We are yours. We are yours. We are yours. Sing it again. We